back at it again. Community activist Juanita Jackson, known as Tay to friends and family, posted a Facebook Live video at Moody Park on Saturday for a basketball tournament she organized. She died the next day just outside that spot. I will not die young. On Monday, friends and family gathered inside the COA Youth and Family Center to pray for Tay and honor her memory. She was my everything, brother. She's like a whole angel to me. She always kept me out of trouble. Every Saturday, we always used, like, we always used to go to Fresh Empire all the time. She wouldn't want us to cry, and she would want us to be making jokes and laughing. But she didn't deserve this. Along with community activists, State Senator Lena Taylor was also at the vigil. She says she knew Tay from all the volunteer work she was committed to. This has to stop. Our babies cannot see this as normal. Tay, a member of Fresh Empire and True School, was known for speaking out against gun violence in her neighborhood. The very violence that killed her Sunday night. <laughs> Now, COA leaders are offering a $25,000 reward for anyone who can help lead police to the arrest and conviction of Tay's killers. The energy she had when she came in the room is very positive. Like, everybody loved her. She just lit the room when she came in. Like Only 20 years old and she touched so many lives. Caroline, what are police saying about the case? Police have not said anything yet about any suspects at this point. Family does uh, tell me that she was hit in the crossfire as two cars were shooting at each other. Caroline Reinwell reporting live tonight from Milwaukee.